Today I want to talk to you about a principle that most people are neglecting and it's the reason why most people go in the weight room, they work out very hard and they don't see the results that they want. It's not for everybody but for many people this principle will help you get a lot more results in the weight room and get a lot more out of your workout. Okay, this is what we're going to talk about is called anabolism and catabolism. Anabolism is when your body is in a state that it can build tissue. So it has everything it needs. It has protein, calories, carbohydrates, fat. It has the energy sources and substances it needs to build and repair muscle. That is anabolism. Now there's an opposite state and that's catabolism. You see your body needs energy sources in order to function properly. All the bodily processes that need to take place, that takes energy. Now if your body doesn't have the proper energy on hand in order to perform those bodily processes, it's going to have to go break down uh, tissues in order to get that energy. So breaking down, the state of breaking down in order to get energy into the body, that's called catabolism. And when your body is in a catabolic state, you can lose muscle because things are being broken down. and You can definitely not be in a state to build and repair tissue or to, or to build muscle. Okay, so you want to make sure that throughout the entire day, you're in an anabolic state and you're avoiding a catabolic state. We're going to go over a few things real quickly that can ensure you to be in an anabolic state more of the time and to build and recover your muscles more correctly. You see, if you you got to understand that muscle is not built in the weight room. Muscle is built and repaired after the workout. The workout only creates the need to build and repair the tissue but your nutrition is actually what's going to build and repair the tissue. Okay, so first of all, you need to figure out and get proper supplies of protein, calories, carbohydrates, and fats in your body. Because those are the tissues and, excuse me, those that's the nutrition you need to properly build tissues. So first off, you wake up in the morning, the first thing you want to do, you've gone eight hours without sleeping, hopefully eight hours. So the first thing you want to do is get nutrition into your system. Whey protein, isolate or concentrate is a great way to get protein back in your system, as well as a well-rounded breakfast. Eat lots of fruits, vegetables, and complex carbohydrates so you have plenty of energy stores throughout the day. Now let's fast forward to whenever you're going to do your workout. Something you want to do before your workout is make sure that you've had a protein source as well as a complex carbohydrate source so that you have lasting energy stores throughout your workout. Keep your workout short. If you keep your workout to around an hour, uh, you're, you're not going to be depleting so much of the stores in your muscle that you have none left to recover. You see, during that workout, your muscles' glycogen stores are going to be released. They're going to be used up for all the contractions and all the energy during that workout. And so you've got nothing left in order to build and repair those tissues. So keep it to about an hour. Some of you guys are in the weight room chatting it up the whole time like me and, uh, and it may take longer but an hour is a good period of time. If you are going to take longer than an hour, have a fruit juice or have um, a granola bar or even a source of protein that you can sip on so that you can be, your body can be ready to start recovering. And now after the workout we're going to talk about something called insulin spiking. Now typically during a day you want to keep your insulin levels low and when your insulin levels are low your body's not going to be storing too much in fat. Now what insulin does is it is it notices an excess of carbohydrates in your system and says you know what we've got an excess here so we need to store it somewhere and then based on where your body most needs uh, those energy stores they're going to be put into your body. Uh, if your muscles are are not depleted, they're going to go to fat. But the nice thing is, after a workout, your muscles are so depleted of glycogen stores that insulin knows that it needs to put that into your muscles. So what you want to do is get your insulin levels up directly after a workout. And the way to do that is to take a high glycemic index carbohydrate right after your workout. And this can be a fruit juice, this can be a fruit. Uh, what I would recommend is drinking a, a fruit juice as well as having the granola bar right after your workout. 
What that's going to do is it's going to up the level of carbohydrates in your system. Your system then is going to release more insulin. And because your muscles are depleted of energy stores, that energy is going to go directly back into your muscles. And so you're going to have more of what you need in order to be in an anabolic state. So what I recommend right after the workout, spike your insulin with a fruit juice and a granola bar. For So the granola bar is going to be complex carbohydrates, so that's going to last a longer time. It doesn't break down as quickly. Now, in the first 30 minutes following your workout, you also want to get uh, more protein. So I'd recommend a whey protein, concentrate, or an isolate uh, at this point. From that point, within an hour beyond your workout, you need to eat a full meal so that your body is completely restored and can be in an anabolic state. Hope you realize that during the workout, first of all, it's not where the muscle building takes place. It's where the need is created to build and repair tissue. And also during that workout, you're depleting so many energy sources that you have to make sure that you restore that as quickly as possible. Because what happens if you don't? What happens if you don't restore the energy levels and don't provide the protein and everything else needed in order to build and repair those, uh, those tissues? What happens is your body still needs energy sources for all of its bodily functions and processes. Where's it going to get that? Because you just depleted it during the workout. Well, it's going to go and break down tissues. Those tissues are the same tissues that you want to keep um, in order to become stronger and a more powerful athlete. So understand that this is a critical time right after you work out. So getting your nutrition straight at this time is going to help out a lot. Now, after you've you know you spiked your insulin, uh, you've gone back and you've had a meal within an hour, then continue uh, your nutrition throughout the day. Now let's fast forward to you're going to go to sleep now. What you want to do here is you want to take another source of protein, but this time we're going to tweak it a little bit. You want to take a casein protein. Now, a casein protein is a type of protein, um, and it digests and is injected into the body much slower than a whey protein. Now, the reason we want to do that is you're going to be asleep for hopefully eight hours, so you want to make sure uh, that you're getting protein during that entire time. And so it's going to be a good idea for you to have a casein protein at that point. Uh, I'd also recommend at least a granola bar and a banana as well. Uh, it's good to, to develop a, a good post-sleep snack so that during that entire fast, that eight-hour fast, uh, your body can have enough, enough energy sources in order to stay in an anabolic state. Now, I promise you guys, if you get that straight, if you're able to get your nutrition straight and you're able to stay in an anabolic state, you will notice immense difference in how much muscle and strength you're able to create after your workouts. You'll notice that your, workout, your workouts are going to actually show improvement each and every workout. Each week you're going to notice that you're stronger. So the problem is there's so many of you out there and you're actually working out adequately. And I'm not saying you're working out optimally, but you're working out adequately to make muscle gains. But because your nutrition is not correct or you're not in an anabolic state most of the time, you're not able to see the gains that you want. So the first thing you need to work on is your nutrition and then we can also talk about making sure you're getting the optimal workouts in the gym and not just adequate. So I hope this helps you. If you have any comments, uh, please leave them below and I'll keep them in mind in the next videos. Please rate the video. I'd really appreciate it as well as if you would like more free tips, I do have my free newsletter. So sign up and thanks for listening. Bye-bye.